Hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tejas. How are you doing? Friends, today we'll discuss about vigilance angle and its various aspects. As you know, vigilance department is headed by CVO, Chief Vigilance Officer, who is designated by the Central Vigilance Commission, CVC, to decide upon the existence of vigilance angle in a particular matter. Vigilance department will take up the issues having vigilance angle only. Presence of vigilance angle is the basis for taking up the matter in either preventive or punitive way. I am sure now you may be curious to know as to what is vigilance angle. Well, let me explain. CVC has clearly defined that vigilance angle is obvious in the following acts. Demanding and or accepting gratification other than legal remuneration in respect of an official act or for using his influence with any other official. Obtaining valuable thing without consideration or with inadequate consideration from a person with whom he has or likely to have official dealings or his subordinates have official dealings or where he can exert influence. Obtaining for himself or for any other person any valuable thing or pecuniary advantage by corrupt or illegal means or by abusing his position as a public servant. Possession of assets disproportionate to his known sources of income. Cases of misappropriation, forgery or cheating or other similar criminal offences. There are, however, other irregularities where circumstances will have to be weighed carefully to take a view whether the officer's integrity is in doubt, gross or willful negligence, recklessness in decision-making, blatant violations of systems and procedures, exercise of discretion in excess where no ostensible public interest is evident, failure to keep the controlling authority superiors informed in time. Under these circumstances, the disciplinary authority with the help of the CVO should carefully study the case and come to a conclusion whether there is reasonable ground to doubt the integrity of the officer concerned. Any undue unjustified delay in the disposal of a case perceived after considering all relevant factors would reinforce a conclusion as to the presence of vigilance angle. Friends, are you aware that most of the acts having vigilance angle will also attract provisions of IPC and Prevention of Corruption Act 1988? In such cases, the same will be tried by criminal courts and liable for punishment under these laws apart from regular departmental inquiry under CDA rules. Conduct Discipline and Appeals Rules 1984 and Standing Orders as applicable. How do you differentiate between gift and bribe? Very relevant question. There is a thin line between gift and bribe gift, something of value given without the expectation of return, bribe, something of value given with the hope of future influence or benefit. One should be careful in accepting gift. If the gift is given with the intent of influencing the public servant, then it would be illegal. Gifts and bribes can be money or actual items. Tickets to a sporting event, 
rounds of golf, jewelry. Can you please explain the terms gratification and legal remuneration? It's a good question. Legal remuneration is anything legally permissible by law of land, whereas gratification is anything which gratifies the senses and it can be in form of cash or kind. Please explain what do you mean by without consideration or with uh, inadequate consideration? Without consideration means you are acquiring some valuable thing without paying its price. Inadequate consideration means acquiring a valuable thing by paying less than the actual price. Can you please elaborate on pecuniary advantage? Pecuniary advantage means monetary gain. Why are you telling all these things to us as we are not public servants since we are neither working for central government or state government? Since HAL is owned and controlled by the government of India, we are all public servants. As defined in section 2C subclause 3 of PC Act 1988. Friends, let me explain the meaning of possession of assets disproportionate to known sources of income. It is possession of assets which are more with respect to known and legal sources of income. Friends, mere possession of any pecuniary resources or property is by itself not an offence. But it is the failure to satisfactorily account for such assets that makes the possession objectionable. What is criminal misconduct? Any act which is defined as crime under any law of the land is criminal misconduct. With respect to Prevention of Corruption Act, which covers functioning of public servants' activities like demanding and accepting of bribe, having assets disproportionate to known sources of income, fraud, forgery, cheating, misappropriation, etc. are criminal misconduct. Uh, what is integrity? The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Friends, please remember, if integrity is there, nothing else matters. If integrity is not there, also, nothing else matters. How do you differentiate between negligence and gross negligence? Negligence is the failure by a person or body to observe a legally recognized standard of care to another party resulting in material damage. The term gross negligence is often used to describe a higher degree of negligence than what is often called ordinary or mere negligence. The difference between negligence and gross negligence is merely a matter of degree. What do you mean by recklessness in decision making? Recklessness in decision making is nothing but taking decision without exercising due diligence. What is discretion? Discretion is the freedom to decide what should be done in a particular situation. With the proxy punching, long habitual absenteeism, theft, sleeping while on duty, Drinking while on duty, etc. attracts vigilance angle. No, these misconducts generally do not attract vigilance angle. If there is no vigilance angle, whether the employee is indulging in such acts would be allowed to go scot-free? No, if there is no vigilance angle, then the case will be dealt administratively by appropriate authority as per standing orders, CDA rules of the company. 
friends please visit central vigilance commission cvc website cvc.nic.in i repeat cvc.nic.in for further details and updates on vigilance act